guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Deneen and this is Design by Denine. I wanted to do some fall decor, but I couldn't decide what style to do. So I decided to do three different styles. Traditional, neutral, and non-traditional colors. These projects are really, really easy, and most of the supplies came from the Dollar Tree. So you can make one, or you can make all three. This is a thrift store candlestick that's been painted with flat black. I'm adding a Dollar Tree plastic plate and attaching it with hot glue. And next I've added a pillar candle, also attaching it with hot glue. All of these flowers and leaves came from my craft stash. You can pick all of these up at the Dollar Tree or a dollar store. So the overall gist of this project is there are four flowers, two orange and two white on opposite sides of the pillar candle. And then it's easiest actually to go back after your flowers are glued on and add in leaves by just tucking them underneath and gluing them in place. I have a mixture of different kinds of leaves here. I have some yellow and red ones and then I have some that look like they're a bit more brown and they have a bit of glitter on them. And you can mix this up however you like. Once you're all done with your flowers and your leaves, you can just tuck in any little fall accents that you like. This is a little styrofoam acorn that I bought from the dollar store. And that's it, easy peasy inexpensive and it'll take you about 10 minutes to throw this project together. You can use it as part of your table centerpiece or you can use it on, a, on your entranceway or your mantle and it's perfect in those traditional fall colors. Very beautiful. Super calm night. Here's Greg. Hi Greg. His phone. <laughs> There's a pile of sticks. I am on the edge of what is known as Sydney Island. If you look way out here, you can see a bunch of little friendly seals. There you go. Actually, I think they're a little bit mad at us because we kind of kicked them off their rock when we came by. Okay, so here's how we got here in our tiny little boat. And now I'm gonna go stick hunting. So here are my sticks. This is actually three pieces of driftwood and I have held them together with clear packing tape. As you can see, the theme with this neutral decor piece is less is more. So I've just placed a few well-placed flowers in neutral tones. But if you feel you still wanna change it up and add a little pop of color, you can go ahead and do that too. What do you think? Kind of pretty for a couple pieces of found driftwood and some dollar store flowers and gourds. But no worries if you don't happen to live near the ocean, you can always go hunting around in your backyard or the local park and just use some fallen branches and get the same effect.
Greg mentioned to me after that he thought this kind of looks like Sage laying on her back with her legs up in the air. <laughs> When doing outdoor planters for the summertime, there's a method known as thrill, fill, and spill. So the ferns in this case act as the spill. The orchid style flowers are used as the thrill. This is the stand up piece of your, of your arrangement. And the mums and the peonies are the fill. Adding the pumpkins is what makes it a fall decor piece. I wanted some pink pumpkins, so I just painted these with Rust-Oleum Pink Champagne. 